Today we are going to be solving this very interesting hackaround challenge and normally uh, to solve this kind of challenge that is quite worthy I'm going to create a new window so that I can be solving it in the code window and also looking at the problem at the same time Alright, so I can have it like this and while I'm writing uh, in the code window down here I can also keep the, this one open so I can be explaining to you as I go So the question says Julia just finished conducting a coding context and she needs your help assembling the leaderboard Write a query to print the respective hacker ID and the name of the hackers who achieved full scores for more than one challenge Order your output in descending order by the total number of challenges in which the hacker earned a full score. If more than one hacker received full scores in the same number of challenges, then sort them in ascending hacker ascending hacker ID. Okay. So let's split it into parts. First, we want to know we want to get only two items. Uh, we need to print the hacker ID and the name of the hacker. And then to get the hacker ID and the name of the hacker, we get we need to get it from two tables. One we have the hacker ID right here. We have the name of the hacker in another table called hackers. Well, we also have the hacker ID and the hacker name here. We can also get the two here. Let's start from bottom top. <laughs> so we we are going from submission table because we want to select those who scored maximum score for more than one challenge okay so let me be solving as i explained so we want to select the hacker id and the name of the hacker let's do that first so i'm going to say select hacker id and and name okay so once i say this where are these uh this uh, this uh, columns coming from or where is the data coming from you can see the hacker ID is coming from here and anytime you are going to be doing joins you need to use alias for the name of the tables so in this case the submission table is going to be S let's call it S and the name of the hacker the name of the hacker will be coming from the hacker table so we are going to also say H dot hackers H dot name so h.name is coming from here and hacker id is coming from the submissions table okay okay that is perfect so once we want to start doing our joins so this is our main table we are working with so we are going to say from we are selecting from submissions so me shows as join so we are going to join but if you look at it carefully you see that submissions table does not uh let's see does it really relate with the hacker id uh, with hackers table yes it's, it relates by the hacker id however we need to go through a number of things right so we have the submission and the question says, let's go back to the question because this question tends to be a bit verbose and not so verbose but uh, needs you to understand it clearly. Alright, at who achieved full scores for more than one challenge? Okay, so who achieved full scores for more than one challenge? So it means that we have to uh, select the hacker ID and name from this submissions table from this submission table based on their scores all right we have to select based on their scores so we have to find a way to uh, relate this table to the challenge table and to the difficult table and all the way to to the uh, to, to, yeah to the difficulty table because this is what holds the scores so let's go from bottom top let's go from submission table we walk our way upwards all the way to the difficulty uh, table which holds the score so let's join submissions from submissions ace all right so i'm going to join so i'm going to indent this i'm going to join 
Now, submissions table does not really join difficulty table. You can see submissions table does not join difficulty table, but it joins challenges table, and challenges table joins difficulty level, uh, difficulty table. So we can join from submissions to challenges and then to difficulties. So I'm going to say join challenges C. And I'm going to specify the join uh, column on C, the challenge ID. Uh, we are joining submission and, and challenges, all right? So the challenge, the column to join uh, is challenge ID, which is common to both tables. So I'm going to also say challenge ID. All right, this is fine. So we are going to move one more step upwards. This time we are going to move to difficulty table. So we are going to do one more join. Join difficulty D on now the difficulty table and the challenges table relate. So I'm going to, since we've joined challenges to our submissions, we are going to now join challenges to difficulty. We join submissions to challenges, challenges to difficulty. So it's going to be on D dot difficulty level, right? On D, the difficulty level, because that is the join column. I'm going to say difficulty underscore level equal to uh, C, the difficulty level. Okay, I really don't want it to wrap the columns. So, okay. All right, so we need to, uh, let's see. Yeah, so the hackers table, you remember the hacker name comes from the hackers table so we have one more join uh, to make so we have to join the hackers table uh, as well so let me see how do we join the hackers table uh, so we are simply going to join uh, hackers on okay hackers h on now what table relates to the hackers table is uh, the common uh, column is from the, the submissions table. So it's going to be on page.hackerid, hacker id is equal to s.hackerid as well. So at this point we've done all our joins, <laughs> everything is joined now. So the nice part of the question now says, how do we now do filtering? So it says, who achieved full scores in more than one challenge? So I'm going to select the where the score is a full score. Okay, where the score is a full score. So I'm going to say, where is the submission the score, right? So how, where the submission the score, the score is equal to a full score. Right, so where is the full scores? The full scores are available in the difficulty level table. Like the full scores are available here. So it's going to be is equal to D dot score. Okay. Right. So this is where the score is a full score. Yeah, is a full score, but for the particular difficulty and D the difficulty level. is equal to C dot difficulty level. Okay. All right. So we have this call is a full score and we are going to count. Uh, we are going to do the count where it is more than one. Okay. So I'm going to say having counts Now we are using an aggregate function. As a hacker ID is greater than one. And if we are going to use an aggregate function, uh, we are going to use uh, a group by clause. So I'm going to say group by. Now we are grouping by everything you have in the select statement have to be uh, with group by. I think that is the way it is. So I'm going to say group by this two. So anytime you are using group by, you have to group by everything here that is not an, an aggregate function. Okay, so having count hacker ID is greater than one. All right, so let's see what next we need to check. Let's go back to the question. It says, order your 
output in descending order of the total number of challenges where the hacker uh, got and a false call. So it's going to be ordered by the count of edge that hacker ID ordered by hacker ID and the next ordering if more than one hacker receive false calls in the same number of challenges solve them by ascending order of hacker ID so in the first one they want us to do the sending order here and the second level sorting means we have to do ascending order of hacker ID so it's going to be uh, age dot hacker ID ascending order okay so let me kind of indent this to make this code a bit more readable um, I don't know <laughs> let's see if it works so let me run this code now and let's see if it works I'm choosing SQ, uh, MS SQL server uh, okay so let's run it and see what we have so we say it says incorrect syntax near count uh, let's see um, order by so it's gonna be order by not just order so I'm gonna run again Invalid column name hacker, invalid column name hacker. Let's see in line 12 s dot hacker ID. So this is hacker ID. I'm going to run one more time. Hopefully this time it works. Invalid column name hacker in line 7 s dot hacker ID here. Okay. Um I just run it again. All right, so this time it works. So it says, congratulations. I'm going to go ahead to submit this code and let's just make sure. All right, so we can see that everything passed successfully and I'd like to give you a thumbs up if you've come this far. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and also please leave me a comment if you find this challenging or you have something you want me to know or you have some uh, support you need from me, please uh, leave me a comment below. So we see in the next part.